According to estimates from the CDC, about 1 in 36 children have been identified with autism spectrum disorder, ASD. You know, every single child deserves a chance to explore, to learn, and to grow. But for caregivers and families with loved ones on the autism spectrum, finding inclusive, accessible, and fulfilling experiences can be a challenge all of its own especially when it comes to travel. Absolutely. Taking on the challenge, Myrtle Beach has become a destination that supports the needs of autism families. Let's listen to those who have been advocating for their loved ones and the community. I have two sons, one of whom is on the autism spectrum. And when we talk about this initiative, but for him, it wouldn't be happening. But now it is much greater than him. My son James is 12 years old. He was diagnosed with autism at three. And since then, I've really just made it my mission to help him and uh, children like him by um, opening my restaurant up to their families. At Visit Myrtle Beach, we want to be welcoming to everyone who wants to come to the beach, no matter what their circumstances are. These women are leading the charge when it comes to spreading the word. Myrtle Beach and the communities along the 60 miles of coastline have been an autism and sensory friendly destination since 2016. We relocated from southern New Jersey to Surfside Beach, South Carolina, which is the neighbor just south of Myrtle Beach. And it became apparent that there's all these wonderful organizations that support the person with autism, but none that support the family unit. So I started Champion Autism Network to make people with autism more comfortable so that they and their families could come out and play with confidence. One of the reasons why we felt so passionately about moving more deeply into sensory friendly experiences is that when we read that statistic that 87% of families that have a child on the spectrum choose not to vacation because they think it's going to be too stressful, that the child may have a difficult time, mom may find it more work than normal, dad may find it more work than normal. That broke my heart to hear that. We feel that everyone should have an opportunity to rest, to rejuvenate, to relax, to soak up the sun, again, to see those waves on the beach and just have fun. And so uh, we're on a mission to try to have more families know that this is a place again where they can be welcome and that we're gonna do everything we can to make it a great experience for them. People with autism can become overstimulated very easily. Lights, crowds, smells, sounds, and that can lead to tantrums and meltdowns because autism is a communication disorder, and that's really one of the only ways they know how to communicate their displeasure. So we started in 2013 with sensory friendly movies where the lights are up, the sound is down, and people are free to move around. It's not your traditional movie viewing experience, but is one that our people with autism and families loved. So after collecting data from surveys, our families wanted to be able to go out to a restaurant. So we started to train area restaurants and then it just kind of grew from there and went to resorts and hotels and attractions and first responders. And we started the Autism Travel Club with our modules are all online and now we can have autism awareness and supports here, there and everywhere. To date, more than 150 businesses along the Grand Strand have pledged their support or received CAN certification to create a welcoming, inclusive, and sensory-friendly beach experience for everyone. We used to have a Johnny D's in New York. It was a 24-hour diner, but then my father decided he wanted to move down south. My son started a daycare here, and the daycare started noticing a couple things, and uh, that's where the autism diagnosis came about. I didn't know anything about autism, so I felt really helpless when, when he was diagnosed. Myrtle Beach has been really impressive to me, just how much they've embraced autism awareness, autism acceptance. The Chamber does a really great job, you know, getting it out into the universe that we are sensory friendly. We're working to make these changes where a lot of places or businesses are jumping on board to kind of just learn about autism, just to make it accommodating for these families to come here. The words that I have on the back of the menu have actually been awesome. But it's kind of the history of how many kids are diagnosed, like how prominent it is in the U.S. and just little sensory things and early signs. There's been a couple of people that have told me that they went home and got their son or daughter checked for autism because they read that. And just if one or two or three kids get early intervention because their 
mother, father, aunt, grandmother came in and read that, it can, it can really change their life. Autism is a, a hidden disorder until it's not. And that's when the tantrums and meltdowns ensue. And part of the training and awareness is letting people know that. And by having our businesses who are supportive and part of the network and the Autism Travel Club and their employees know how to treat you, having and creating communities of understanding where our families, whether locals or tourists, can go grocery shopping, can go out for a meal, can go out for a traditional family experience. It's really, really important. We are geographically blessed uh, where we actually reside in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're very close to the North Carolina coast. We have all that coastline. Um, but a fun fact is that about a third of our nation can travel to us in a day or less to reach us. With staples like Broadway at the Beach, Ripley's Aquarium, and more than 50 mini golf courses, it's no wonder families of all sizes and age groups choose the beach for their annual getaways. It's all about creating opportunity and supports and empowering our families. We've been hiding in the shadows for too long. If you love the beach, this is a great place to be. But if you also like to go out and be active and have fun, we have just hundreds and hundreds of things for you to choose from. So a lot of diversity of experience. Everyone deserves a chance to be included. And whether that's with, you know, the local sports team or a school activity or going to a restaurant or going on a speedboat, everyone deserves a chance to do these things that we all enjoy. If I had one wish for James, it would just be to find his voice. Um, I just feel like he would have an easier time because I won't be here forever, you know? And I think if he does that, he would be okay. As an autism mom, you know, we're always looking ahead at least five years, you know, to provide our children with life skills, social skills. It's not a traditional trajectory for people with autism. And you have to support that person, their interest in trying to figure out ways to get them where they want to be. Myrtle Beach is a come as you are destination. Don't have to dress fancy, put on that t-shirt and flip flops and we welcome everyone to come. And again, enjoy your time here at the beach and it will, you know, use everything that we have to offer. And I feel very comfortable that people will find this a warm, friendly and very welcoming place to come and stay. For more information, go to visit MyrtleBeach.com and all their social platforms. You can also always go to our website, TheBouncingAct.com. We'll be right back after this.